Get tickled, man. Two so tentacle tickles coming at you. Yeah. <laughs>Hey Geeks, Rally here, and thank you for joining me today as we play some more Ark Survival Evolved here on the Iron Mine Ragnarok server. I got fell on my shoulder, and I actually want to show you something real cool. We got the, the squid out here. This is Mari. That's the one I uh the one I birthed, I raised. Birthed is definitely the wrong word. Uh so let's take a look. You see in the bottom right corner of my screen? That may look familiar. We have the swim clear goggles on here now. So that's what we have on the uh, the center server that I that uh, I run with the geeks. So let's take a look at the difference, just in case you guys haven't seen the difference here. Okay, this is the standard underwater right now. Okay, let's go ahead and put this on. This is what we can see now. So. It's actually made it so it's a little clearer. It still keeps the color with the, like, we used to have the crystal clear mod we used, but you couldn't actually see the blue color. It got rid of that, which made the underwater look really odd. So now we actually get to keep the nice, beautiful view. We can see a little farther. There's no overlay. And we get to actually have that kind of nice blue tone that goes with it. So I thought, now that we've got these things on here, we should go check out the new area. So I've uh, I've just been pumping speed and melee so far because we're already at twenty one thousand health. So uh, I can do some more speed. So now we're gonna kind of head out and take a look. Now before we go too far, I want to see what the squid pit looks like because <laughs> when we were in the squid pit, it was really creepy and scary because it was you know the super blur right, like we couldn't see anything down there. So now we're going to be able to go down into the squid pit and see everything, which will probably make it even scarier than it was before. You know, one of the things I think is weird about the AI in this game, those sharks are coming to get this giant squid. What? Why would they do that? <laughs> like, this is a giant squid. What are y'all doing coming to get me? All right, so the squid pit should just be right out here, I think, right through that little opening. And I just want to kind of see what it looks like out there uh, and, and take a look. I, I'm worried. I'm worried it's gonna look real crazy because there's gonna be just a ton of it. So there's sharks again. And I think uh, I read one of the comments said that I could probably take out a whole bunch of the squids the last time I was out in the ocean here. That I could actually take on the alpha mosses no problem. And I could probably take a bunch of the squids all at one time too. Okay. This is the squid pit for sure. I see eels and stuff. Or, okay, there's some squids. I was like, did we lose all the squids? What the heck? There's some squids. Look at these guys. Hey, buddies. Hello, fellow squiddy squids. Look at all these guys. There's way less down here. Do you guys remember how many there were down here when we came down before? This is no big deal down here now. That's great. Got donkeys and stuff. Another squid down there some of the shipwrecks I did find in one of the other ones um, over in Viking Bay there was a treasure chest down in there but I had to be level 80 eight, oh is it 80 huh, I'm 82 maybe I can open them now look at all these squids coming to get me get out of here squids take that ink in your face <laughs> Alright, so I just want to see the squid pit with this new this new look that we can kind of see everything with to see how it looked. This is gorgeous. Alright, so let's go check out since we've been doing our underwater or we've been doing our exploring of the new areas in Ragnarok, let's go see what it looks like down in the depths of the new area and see if they've uh, done crazy stuff over there yet or not. Alright, so we definitely have some kind of new uh, feature places down here. Let's take a look. We're going to look at the map now, I think, from here. So we're down almost off the map right now. Look at this. It has this cool, like, cave-looking thing over here. I don't think it's actually a cave, but, like, it kind of has the under the underwater kind of vibe to that. This is pretty sweet. Big old arch like this with all the bioluminescent stuff in the, uh, in the like, seaweed and stuff here. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I definitely like this. This is nice. <laughs> this is so cool down here. Alright, and just 
I don't think we're going to be followed by anything too crazy right now. Just to show you again what the difference this mask makes is. So this is how everything... Let's go back so we can see the, the uh, seaweed because it'll help a lot for this. So this is how it normally... Or this is how it looks with the cool stuff on. This is what it looks like without it. So this is how it would look down here trying to record for you guys, which is just nuts. And this is still kind of dark. Like, I, I could probably... You could probably gamma up a little bit and still be fine like to make sure you guys can see everything so i don't know i just it is a huge 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 difference to the underwater gameplay and it doesn't take away from like like the way this works it's still it's still you can't see super crazy distances away still oh we got another little spot that kind of breaks down here oh i like this yeah, so it doesn't take away, um, like, the cool vibe from down here, like some of the other mods do, that do that kind of thing. And this, uh, this clear, the, the clear water, I have to find out what they're actually called for you guys, and I'll, I'll let you know what it is for sure. But, like, you, whoa. Why is that blue? Oh, it's because this, <laughs> I was like, what is going on in there? It's, <laughs> now I see why. Eden. <laughs> that was funny. Oh wow, I'm getting all the things. Eat all, eat all the fishes. Okay. Wow, that was really cool looking. I kind of feel bad that I got rid of all of them, but it's fine. All right, so uh, we're gonna continue down around the corner here and see what we can see. Let's go up and see where we're at right now, because I am not quite sure. Okay, so we're heading over right now. That's the uh, the new islands that are like scorched earthish. So we're heading over that way now. You can see it's obviously getting to be nighttime now. Oh wow, it's getting like super nighttime. All right, I will probably <laughs> before I leave, we're gonna kill a stupid lead. See what happens after you guys killed my raft. <laughs> I know it wasn't even this server. I don't care. Come here. No, 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 no. Get squidified. You trying to run away? Huh? I don't think so, buddy. Are you stupid shark? Come here. Let's. That is the one drawback with these squids. Come on. Let's get this shark. Uh, come here, shark. Come into my maw. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna probably wait until it's not nighttime because nighttime is making this really difficult for you guys to be able to see anything. Um, and I'll bring you guys back once it is daylight and we can do a little bit more searching down around the ocean floor. There's another lead down there. I'm going to go on a lead killing spree. <laughs> Back in a few. Alright, so I've just been waiting here. I'm on the shore, just looking at the stars, waiting until dawn so I can show you guys some more. I want to show you this. I know it's dark, but look at how the sky looks. How cool are the stars right now? <laughs> uh, okay, I just want to show you guys that real quick. I'll bring you guys back once the sun is up. But man... These guys did a great job. Listen to the ambient sounds. Oh, let's get some light so you guys can see. This is just gorgeous. The Ragnarok devs just do an amazing job at all this stuff. All right, oh, poor dead dolphins. <laughs> all right, I'll bring you guys back once the sun's out. All right, guys, we are back. It is morning time. We still got some gamma because it is still pretty dark down here. Uh, but I figured this is the entrance into the bay, I believe. You can see some silica pearls down there. So this should be taking us. Let's go ahead and service real quick to make sure. But I think this is the uh, this is the bay. Ooh. Yep. So over that direction that we're about to head, where the fins just switched over, that's where the coastal wyvern area is. We're gonna kind of head that direction, I think. Get back in the water here. I love, like, the giant kelp. 
looks awesome. They did a great job with it. It's a little tough to see down here because of it. But yeah, see, like, Megalodon just come out of nowhere now. But yeah, it looks really good. It's nice ambient, uh, like an ambient look. Ambiance? What words? You know what I'm saying. God, this is just gorgeous down here. Look at that. And that looks like those are the rocks, I think, that lead up to the coastal wyvern spot, right? Yeah, look at those things. They're like sprouting up out of the out of the ground there. That's great. Man, there are tons of leads. I've killed four leads so far down here. Look at these big old mamajamas just hanging out. I saw another one the other way, direction too. So we won't be able to actually head up in there, unfortunately, because this is definitely uh, it's definitely too shallow there. Man, this is cool looking. Yeah, the giant kelp though, man. See, look, there's another one. Man, this is lead central. Rafts are probably not so great down here. <laughs> but the, uh, just the amount of kelp and stuff down here, like these giant strands of it, just make it look so much more immersive here. All right, so I think, I think that's about it for what's down here. I don't see anything crazy down here. I didn't see any like shipwrecks or anything. It's a nice little chasm again. Oh, a little too high. It's pretty nifty. All right, so I think we're gonna turn around. We're gonna head back out the way we came in and see if there's anything out in the open ocean side of this too. Megalodons, what's wrong with you? You're all a bunch of dummies. I already killed so many of your brothers. Why would you chase me now? Fools. <laughs> all right. I'll bring you guys back once we are out in the open ocean again. Well, I've been out here swimming in the kelp for a while, guys. I don't see anything too crazy out here. Um, they did an amazing job with all the land formations and stuff. And the, the kelp forest kind of thing is just... It's great. It's beautiful. And it's, it's really stupid for me to say this but i love the fact that it's oh there must be yep so there's our visqueen our ward border i really like the danger that this adds because if you were swimming around on an ichthy uh or something like that or even a megalodon like things can come at you you'd have no idea we're down here like the the this does a really good job of like camouflaging things as they come out of the out of the depths at you so it's really cool to have like a really super tall, really big kelp forest kind of hanging out around here. It really adds to some immersion while you're out here in the water. Look at that. It's like its own little, like, underwater forest. It's brilliant. All right, so that's about, I think that's about it for what's down in the, uh, the oceany bits here. Oh, hey, Plessies! We haven't seen any Plessies or Mosses so far, except for over here now. See what I'm talking about being in this, though? We wouldn't, we'd have no idea. Are you guys coming for me? I can't tell. Yeah, you are. Look at them. See? They're sneaky sneaks coming out of there. You want some? You want some of this, Plessies? Come on in. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you fools. Oh, I have this on, don't I? Whoops. I want to see what level they were. You guys got you're on the wrong side of me. You're making this difficult. No, 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 no. 130. Feel a little bad about that, but alright. I have to remember that space does like an instant turnaround too. So like when they're doing that, I can press space to turn. Ah got some more levels. Try just one, right? We've been leveling up a lot of melee so far. I'm just trying to make it easy for me to smoke anything that I run into down here. Oh, beautiful. All right, so I think I'm going to head back up to... Is that the lead? <laughs> See? I don't even, even know what's down here. It's scary. Psilosaurus is an alpha megalodon. I did fight one of those earlier. I guess I should might as well... You know what? Let's Let's do it. Oh, I actually want to turn back the other way. Loop. Alpha Megalodon. They do kind of get to the point where they're hard to get to sometimes. 
because they'll they'll kind of slide a direction that's harder for me to reach. So I've had to like like kind of swim out for a second, then swim out like this, and then kind of look back, and then start swinging again. Oh, this is gonna be a brawl right here. Look at all these mantas and stuff. Ah, uh, everything. Oh, by the way, I found out. They see that little black uh, weight icon that just showed up for us up in the top. I was, I couldn't figure out why uh, I was, you know, it showed I was getting weighed down when I haven't touched my weight. It's actually a slot limit. So, like, there's a slot allotment that each of these has, each creature has, and that means that you've gone over it. So, it, once we're done here, I'll just clear out the, the fish. Um, oh, he's getting bloody. I'll clear out all the, the fish meat and stuff, and we'll be fine. Is he getting bloody, or is his colors like that? Get tickled, man! Two so tentacle tickles coming at you. Yeah! <laughs> You're done. You got nothing left, Megalon. Ah! Oh, ha 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 ha! <laughs> Don't drop bags, right? No, I think I probably got stuff on me here. Let's take a look. Oh, I gained some levels on that one. Some more melee. We'll get a little more speed. Let's see what kind of cool stuff we got. Oh, let's do this fish thing I was talking about. So if we get rid of fish, we'll just drop all that. And watch the little black icon will just go away. Done. All right. So what crazy things? Did we get anything cool from... We didn't get anything cool? What? Did you not drop a bag or anything? Oh, there's a bag. Okay. Uh... Uh, uh. Oh no, that's all the fish I dropped. I killed that Alpha Megadon to get anything cool for it. Man, all right. <laughs> Seriously though, nothing. I didn't even see one of the fins. I'm supposed to. I thought you got like Alpha fins. Is there another bag, maybe? I don't see one. Oh, well. All right, so we're going to head back towards home. Uh, and, yeah, kind of just going to head back to the, to the base. Welcome back, guys. Uh, so I went home, and I decided to come out and show you something else, because I think you're going to see a little more of this soon. Uh, we're on top of a tower. What tower, you might ask? But a big crazy one that Monkey Puzzle built. <laughs> Look at this water pen that he built. So he built this cool place. That's actually a uh, a Tuso that your man didn't left for him as a housewarming gift. And I know Monkey Puzzle enough to know that he's going to need to go tame his own. But he's right there. That's where the, the Tusos and stuff are right out there. That's the squid pit. So he's in the right place for it. But look at this crazy... You know what? You can't even see it from here. I'll tell you what we need to do then. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so this is great look at how look at this this pen so it's definitely big enough for him to keep a couple things out here uh no problem and uh you know if, <laughs> if we're around we might see if we can sneak one of our guys out here every once in a while but so check this out it's kind of this cool like he he chose to kind of keep it just metal and glass which is like this cool kind of industrial look for it um it looks like he left some opaqueness which is perfect so you can kind of see the difference for it it kind of you know what? Like, it kind of reminds me of an aquarium, the way it's set up. That's awesome. Oh, that's perfect for this. So you've got like, you know, the kind of the basic fenced in stuff here. It's kind of a modern aquarium look. I dig it. Looks like over here we've got, uh, we've got ourselves a uh, an industrial grill which is powered by electricity. Uh, it looks like we got some metal storage over here. There's ba Baza, I think is how you pronounce that. Which is awesome. Look at these, though. This is nicely set up, man. And these metal storage boxes that stack are a good idea. I haven't done that yet. I haven't actually, like, used any that stack. But that's definitely a good idea. So, it uh, looks like we've got our basic crafting and refrigeration and that kind of stuff on the bottom. And then there's uh, this ladder up. Let's go take a look at this from the outside once more before we go up there, though. Look at this thing. Monkey Puzzle knows how to build towers. Let me tell you that much. Because that is just... That's crazy. Oh, it's gorgeous. All right, let's go ahead and climb up the ladder and see what it looks like on the inside here. I uh, I parked 
Andy. Actually, you can see that's Andy's feet right there. <laughs> so I came over on the Griffin. All right, let's get up here real quick. Take a look. So there's Andy with his feet sticking through the floor. This is like a landing pad that has uh, a little a little door right here to get out uh, and in. And then I think we can just step around here. And then it's just kind of like glass and metal all the way around the outside. Cool little observation tower. And then he's got ladders on the inside to take you all the way to the top. That's how I got up there in the first place. So uh, we'll go ahead and climb up. So this is like the next deck, right? This is where it, it comes back out or, or back in for the next level. So we got Tepahara Bud up there. There's a doorway. Yep. Is this open? Uh, yep. <laughs> Ouch. All right. So that's cool. That's open there. If I had made a grappling hook, which I have not yet again, since I died last time, I probably could have got up very easily that way then. And we'll just go up here. Now, that's open too, I'd assume then, right? Sweet. Yeah, so I could probably just grab and hook way up here if I had made one of those. <laughs> Alright, so let's check out the top here. Oh, this looks really cool from the inside. Like, look at the, like, the pattern that this has on the inside. It's pretty sweet. I think he's got a ton of lights. I'm sure this lights up like crazy um, at night. Oh, that's awesome. Then, do you think... I mean, you think that this doorway would let us get out there, right? Like, that should get us to the water. This definitely won't get us to the water. <laughs> so that's a bad idea. This one, yeah, that'll get us to the water out there. This should get us to the water, I would think. Uh, oh, boy. Yep, okay. Whew. <laughs> I need a quick exit point like that for some water stuff. That's awesome. All right, so we had a chance to explore today, guys. We had a chance to come check out uh, Monkey Puzzle's water aquarium base deal, which is sweet. Oh, look at that. Through the sand and everything. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to drop a like below. You can always subscribe for more content, and I will catch you on the flip side.